very excited about exploration and about space and about sharing it with, uh, with everyone. The smiles on their faces and the extreme joy, they were really happy to be doing what they were doing. And we're at T-minus nine minutes and counting. People thought that because the teacher would be on board that it might rejuvenate attention, but it did not. T minus seven minutes and counting. There weren't that many members here of the press. Pilot Mike Smith has given an. The mission has already been postponed several times due to mechanical problems and bad weather. Throughout the morning, engineers express concern about the unusually low temperatures. At 11:38 a.m., Challenger is cleared for launch. Ground launch sequencer program has been initiated. I remember I looked in their eyes and I wished them well on the journey. T minus two minutes and 20 seconds. Someone stuck their head into the big conference room and said, hey guys, Challenger is about two minutes from liftoff. You want to take a break and watch the launch? T minus one minute and counting. Hydrogen Krista's parents are at the Cape for the launch. Sound suppression system now armed. I've done a lot of launches on the top of the launch control roof out here, and I've seen families. They're worried. They're scared. They're in tears. That's not nice. Eight, seven, six. We have liftoff. Eight, eight, seven, six. Eight, 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 we heard ignition, we heard liftoff, I heard the uh, call throttle down, everything was looking normal, I was watching the main engines. Roger, roll, Challenger. You're sitting there quietly rooting for them, you're sitting there quietly saying, go Challenger, go Challenger. Challenger now heading down range. Preparing to re-throttle the engines back up to 100%. It seemed to be just kind of crawling in space. The one for the Guinness Book of Records with the size flight crew aboard. Go and throttle 3, up. 3,305. later I happened to see sort of a flicker over on the TV you see we've had uh, negative contact lost the family okay all operators watch your data carefully and I looked over and I saw this picture of this expanding fireball with uh, pieces moving in all directions the crippled rocket boosters careen out of control Especially declassified footage shows them being remotely destroyed. We have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. We're working with the flight director confirms okay. that. Okay. We are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. I knew instantly that none of them could possibly survive because we didn't have parachutes, we didn't have pressure suits. And at the altitude that they broke up at, there was no way they were going to maintain consciousness. It was immediately obvious to me that we had lost the entire crew. It didn't look normal. 